What is happening right now, the changes that is happening in your, in your spine, you'll feel it when you get up. Okay, so if you have the right tools, you're going to make it work very well. So, right there into this position. Now, some of you may feel some, some you know, funny feeling in your lower back and it's normal, okay? So, let's try another version. In this one, we will adjust the hand position. As you move your hands around and away from your body, it start to stretch different group of muscles in your neck that supports your neck and shoulders right away into the practice. Lift up. Now, from here, once you're here, reach your hands over your head. So, I wanted you to make sure that when you start, your shoulders are always on the, on the towel, okay, on a higher raised surface. So, lift up and hold this particular position. Then bring your elbows out like this and stretch your arms. See if you can reach towards your foot. But you still need to keep the weight on your, on your shoulders, okay? So do not go over like this so much. But stay back and down like this on your, on your towel. Let's breathe in, breathe out again. Just a nice inhalation, exhalation. It's a very good technique to help you settle your shoulders and neck. Make sure your weight is distributed evenly on both sides. You will know it if you're going into one side. Very good. Now, moving forward from there, I want you to bring your hands down on the floor and open your legs wider, just nice and wide. Okay, the towel under your neck is very beneficial. You have to use it, it will help you out. Open the legs super duper wide and let's breathe. Your hands are wide too. Keep on breathing in and out, all through your nose. Very good. Now from here, release your legs back to center and just roll your spine down. Making sure your head stay down. Once you return your pelvis, put your feet down on the floor and take a couple of deep breaths again, in and out through your nose. Keep your body weight on the towel. Again, focus on deep inhalations, long exhalations. We got just one more practice before we finish it. Just breathe and observe the changes in your lower back. It's a fabulous practice to really open up that lower back, okay? So to help you improve your core strength again. So now, right from this position, Let's try the final version is the shoulder stand and then the plug and then the twist. Okay, so three positions in a small sequence. Ready? So lift up first. Go up into the shoulder stand again. You have your head nice and long. Your weight is right on that spine. 
the top of your spine. Your legs are straight. You're constantly inhaling and exhaling. Tighten up your buttocks a little bit more. See if you can feel difference in your hips. Okay, ready? Open, lower your legs first, and then open your legs a little bit wider. I mean, wider than your usual, okay? So really wide open, and then bring your feet down on the floor. Here is your twisting point. So from this position, move your right foot close to your left foot. Hold while you're still supporting with your hand. Bring it back to the center, I mean, the same where it was before, and then to its original position, and then you move to the other side. That's it, bring your foot back to its original position. And you could always stay longer if you have so sharp pain there, but this should be already fine by now. Bring your legs together and slowly roll that spine down. That is all, bring your feet nice and down. When you wanna come out of this position, roll over to any one side, okay? And come up. Right, how are you feeling right now? Some of you may feel a little bit heaviness in your neck and it's, it's very normal at this point. And some of you may have kind of a, a big relief from your neck at this point. The muscles here on top of your neck may feel more, more lighter, okay? So for the first one is to put your head nicely on a pillow. So now your head is slightly higher than before it was lower, now it's higher. Okay, next practice is to take your one leg down and then the other leg will bend, okay? So first part is to just pull your foot outside like this and let your thigh stretch out. You could pull it a little bit more. If you turn your toe out, it stretches a different area in your thigh. So hold that and let's take about 60 breath, minimum six. I want you to stay a little bit longer. So depend on how painful this area is, you want to stretch into this position. So let your thigh stretch. If you want to make it more intense, more, more painful, I mean more stretchy, you could also put your leg on the top and that will press your knee down but you have to be careful with your knee the foot position is kind of important you see how my toe is pointing sideways not pointing backward anymore so you have to be a little careful with your right knee if it hurts your knee you have to stop you should feel a good stretch on the top of your thigh and let's hold there
and release your foot and release your leg. Try the same thing on the other side. So your head is supported. You need to make sure your toe pointing outside and you press your knee down. It may not go down, don't try too hard. You just have to make sure that you are not going like that. Your back is not lifting and throwing off. So you need to make sure that pillow is used in order to keep your pelvis down. The more your knee is higher, the more stiff you are here. If you don't release it, it won't fix your back. So you want to release that tension there, okay? But be careful not to hurt your knee. So I've already done a good work for your back. You have already done a good work for your back. Now it's just you stretch this particular area. If you want to make it more t difficult and painful, which I definitely like to do that, because I want to make it, I want to get fast results and stretch nicely without hurting myself. So if you are hurting your knee, maybe you need to back off, okay? So notice that you want to focus on pressing that knee down. I'm a little bit tight on this side, looks like, so my knee is not down yet. So let's practice and stay there for a while so that you can release that. This is a great way to open up that hip flexor. So just a different way to teach your muscles to release the tensions. It's also very good for your hip. And just create that stretch and you breathe in and out. The foot needs to be higher. You can always grab your foot in your hand. Let's breathe in and out. Don't force your knees down. It will happen by itself, how much it can allow you to do. So just stay and breathe. Please make sure you do not overarch your back. Compress your lower belly. Now we can release slowly with care and return. Okay, let's lift yourself up now and clear up some more space. So bring that uh, thick towel more closer. This time you will be laying down on it like this. Okay, you can also take one of the yoga block and bring it right here as a support for your head. A little bit further away, depends. You can always adjust it. Now, first part of the practice is to fold you both your legs and sit down on the floor. If you cannot sit on the floor, you bring this particular towel under your seat and then sit on it, okay? In that case, you may need another block to work with. If you could already sit down on the floor, that would be fine, but I'll try to do it this way. Then bring this block here to support your, the bottom of your rib cage. Rest the bottom of your rib cage down and then the other block can be raised to rest your head. So now you're working on three points, the thighs, the rib cage that opens up nicely, opening up your upper mid back and then also supporting your head. You may also flatten your head down a bit more. So see how this comes together and really helps you to open up the, the rib cage. This is really a very restorative practice because it gives you time to recuperate and recover. Breathe into the rib, to the bottom of your rib cage and just keep on breathing in and out.
and is really pushing the right areas forward and the wrong areas backward, which means it's helping you really improve your posture. Okay, so it's trying to release the unnecessary tension that's holding you back. Especially people with very tight diaphragm, you are having a lot of difficulty in breathing. So you want to open up your diaphragm, suck your belly, keep your pelvis down. Eventually, over time, this, thing, this position becomes better. And even if it doesn't become better, this is still a more relaxing position. So just open uh, your arms and close your eyes and take another six to 10 deep breaths. Let your shoulders fall, eyes be closed. Slowly clear the block if you can as you bring your head down. To come out of this position, first press your elbows and lift your head up. Press down into your elbows even more, then you push yourself up as you come upright. Let's clear the block and come up into sitting position. Right, so I hope you're feeling better now. Let's work a little bit more into the upper back area. With your feet turning, feet together, knees turning outside. Bring that block into, so not this time, you're going to put the block this way, okay? Not in a horizontal, but more like in a, in a long line, okay? So just parallel to your spine, right up into that upper mid-back area, which means between your shoulder blade. You can always adjust and make sure that your weight is right into it. Then you could use the other particular block. Oh, where is it? Okay, found you. Okay, so here you could put other block right under to support your head. All this time, don't let the head go like that. You still need to press your chin down. If it's hard, it's okay to raise it a little bit more. So your idea, the idea is to keep the chin down Open your knees and just let the weight fall again on that block. Let's breathe. You can always adjust accordingly. It's right between your shoulder blades, okay? The block is between the shoulder blades. Can you breathe into the rib cage? Again, deep breath, breath in and deep, long breath out.
keep on breathing, rest, relax. This is to restore and recover, recuperate from any injuries, really heal your body 